Hey guys, welcome to Unreal Labs. Today we're going to cover a couple topics. Uh, we're going to do, let's see what's on the dock today, some basic commands. So we're going to set up a console password. We're going to set up some VTY telnet lines with a password. We're going to uh, set up the enable password. Uh, we're going to do a host name setup, and then we're just going to set a basic IP address on VLAN 1. This is going to start a little Cisco lab series um, where we'll get into maybe even hardening a switch. Um, at the tail end, but we're just starting at the basics. So uh, currently I'm connected with a console cable to the switch. And let's, uh, let's start off with setting the console password. So as you can see here, we are um, connected to the switch. So we're gonna go to enable mode and we're gonna, I'm gonna just do a show run. This do their show run, and we'll see what's on the config, but it should be anything. Um, so that all looks good. So there's no IP on the VLAN. One, it's, it's shut down. Nothing's on line console zero or uh, any of the VTY lines, so we'll set those up. And then as you can see, the name of the switch is just switch. Uh, so we'll get that configured here. So we'll go into config T, and then we'll do line console zero. And I'm gonna type login, and then I'm gonna do password. And the reason I'm that is because I don't have a password yet. So password, and I'm just gonna set it to Cisco, and then we're gonna set it to login. And if we can end that, we'll just do a little quick test and exit. And if we hit return, so now we have a password box, so we have to now, so now someone can't just walk up to the switch, connect this, this uh, with a console cable and get into it. So now we'll do enable again, big T, and we'll go line, ETY 0 through 4, and we'll set the password on that to Cisco, and we'll type login. So now, uh, our VTY lines are at least set up to accept connections. Without a password, they won't accept connections by default. Just a tip there. Um, so now let's uh, let's set up the enable password. So we'll go back to config T. Uh, as you notice right now, if I exit this and log in, uh, I can move to the privilege side of the switch with, with no password there. Um, or going to enable mode with, with no password. So uh, let's set that so it can fit T. Uh, and we're going to do, I don't know what that brain. So enable secret. And if we hit a question mark in any command in Cisco, it'll, it should give you a, a menu if you're, it, it, as long as it's correct. If you misspell something and then hit, as you'll see, it's unrecognized command, but uh, if you tab out and then hit a question mark anywhere you're at, it should give you some options to choose. Just a tip there. Let's get that out of the way. So enable secret, and then I'm going to do level 15, that's the highest level. Oops. And then we're going to set the, set the password. So I'll just do an uppercase C on the Cisco with that. And we'll hit N. And I'm going to exit out. We'll test this all the way through. So now if we hit enter again, uh, like I said, lowercase Cisco, I'm going to enable. And it's prompting us for our enable password, which is Cisco, just with a capital C. And now we're in that switch. So uh, we've set some basic security up. So if we do a show run right, oh, show run right here. Since I chose uh, secret, the the secret password has been encrypted, or at least encoded. So uh, these are pretty breakable right now. But um, at least it's not displaying in the config. But if we keep on going farther down, what you'll see is the console and the VTY password are not encrypted. So let's fix that really quick. So the big T. And then we'll do service, password, encryption, all together there. With a, hit enter. And now if we show run, you'll 
you'll see that those are now encoded also. So you can also, don't have to have, if you do show run, you can also pipe that. And let's say we want to begin at line. So that'll just give us a quicker, we don't have to show the, the whole config if we're, if we're looking for a spot in the config, which is pretty handy. And we'll get into those some of these commands too. There's lots of options we can do there. Uh, so that's set. So let's uh, what's next? Let's do let's set up the host name real quick. That sounds good because I don't like it really just being switch. So we'll hit config T again, and we'll type host name, and I will just set it as thirty five sixty one. So if that's the new name of the switch. And let's right run that. So we've saved that. So now if we do, we've got a starting config now. So show start, all those settings should be in there. So if the switch reboots or loses power, uh, these settings will be, be available or will be still be saved. Um, now let's set VLAN one. So let's go back to configuration or config T, config terminal interface vlan1 and we'll do ip address and like i said you can tab to fill those out it's a lot quicker we'll just set up ip i come up with here just 10 10 maybe one and then we'll let's do it at 24. and then i like to know shut it and i don't have any plugged into it right now so if the the vlan interface is not going to it won't be up so if we do a show run interface vlan1 um, we can see the config on it. Show interface VLAN 1. We can actually see the settings. So oh, I guess it did come up. I, I was wrong. Excuse me. It's been a while. But um, so now we can see the IP set. Um, and we can see the VLANs up and the line protocols up. So it must have something plugged into it. Didn't realize it. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's sending send some traffic. Um, that's pretty basic for today, but yeah, I just wanted to cover some basic commands just to get uh, a Cisco switch uh, with some basic configuration, at least passwords on it for you guys. Um, and then setting up the VLAN 1 interface, if that's what you're using for your native VLAN, uh, so you can manage it um, on your network. Anyways, thanks for uh, tuning in again, and uh, yeah, I'll have some videos here soon. I, we, we try to have them every Friday, so... Uh, Oh, yeah, I really appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.